Hey guys, Dr. Vic here, and I'm gonna share with you today the second way that you can impact your health drastically, and that is movement. Movement is life, and so if you're not getting the proper, you know, moving properly, exercising, walking, jogging, running, functional movement exercises, just getting movement daily, you're, create, you're putting yourself more stress on the body. Research shows now that sitting is the new smoking. When you sit, you put two to three times more pressure on your spine than you normally do from standing. And so you, it, it's abnormal for us to sit. We're actually not designed to. Even though we can, it doesn't mean we're designed to sit. And so sitting's not great for us. Temporarily, it's okay, but long-term, horrible for our health. And so exercise and movement and keeping the body moving is essential for impacting your health and helping it out. Exercise does wonderful things for the brain. You know, movement is what actually recharges the brain and keeps it young. Movement slows down the aging process. And movement helps with the gene production that produces positive aspects to things. And it helps the body overall. It gets rid of hormones, excess hormones in the body. It helps balance your sugar levels better. Exercise is just unbelievable to do. Movement every day. I tell people, if you're not gonna exercise, at least walk 30 minutes a day. 30 minutes, that's it. Nice, fast paced. Pick up a friend, have some fun with it. Movement is going to allow you to stay young. I mean, research shows 30 minutes a day, seven days a week of a nice, fast, brisk walk can decrease chronic illnesses by up to 90%. That's huge. Chronic illnesses, these are lifestyle illnesses. Things like cancer, heart disease, diabetes, and stroke. And it's free. It's free. Go outside, get some fresh air. Let the sun hit your eyes and hit your body a little bit. Movement is essential when it comes to your health. So make sure that you're doing that minimum 30 minutes a day of walking. Okay? Functional movements. Functional movements, if you know what that is, is, is if you're doing a workout, you're not just working on biceps or you're not just working on shoulders. You may do a bicep shoulder type of workout. You may do some burpees and push-ups and mountain climbers all mixed in. It's functional movement type exercises that are going to move different muscle groups in a functional way to get more optimal results so your body can resist stress better. Heck, exercise is a great way just to get stress off your mind. So it is so essential. We are designed to move. That's what humans are designed to do. Make sure you're doing the things that the laws of nature state. The law of nature for the body states it likes to move. So move. Get up and move your arse. Simple as that. So yeah, try to figure out where you can do that in your day. If you don't, you're creating deficits, and those deficits can lead to other things that puts more stress on the body because now you're doing things that it's not naturally designed to. So tip number two, impacting your health is going to be movement. So make sure you get that going. Any questions you have, please let me know. You can email me. But I hope this video was inspiring and, and helped and give some information to create some transformation. Um, if you liked the video, please click like. If you thought it was, you have a cool story or comment about this, go ahead and share. And if this was, you know someone that may need to hear this or you maybe want to share this uh, on your wall and so, so forth, go ahead and do so. I want to thank you for watching. This is Dr. Vic with The Wellness Path. Until next time, be well, live well, the choice is yours.